Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Our Christmas project this year is one of my favourite Christmas beverages. I say Christmas beverage if you can imagine Christmas being 365 days long. We're working with TRO once again and we've been asked to create some floating Baileys bottles with the liquid pouring out and spilling over the side of a fridge. They'd like two of these made, one to go on top of each fridge that'll be positioned at either end of their Baileys stand in a shopping centre. Aiden begins by sketching out a rough peripheral of the liquid pour on the countertop and the liquid that's pouring down the side surface. For this job we're going to be having two identical sculptures created, so this suggests that a mould needs to be made, and to ensure that we get a really high quality finish, this favours the mould making route as well. He's blocking out the liquid in clay, adding undulations in the surface, as though the liquid's really hitting and flowing over the side of the fridge at some speed. If you've seen some of our other project videos that involve mould making, you'd know that we often create fiberglass and silicon rubber moulds, but these are usually for jobs that require either a lot of detail or a particularly numerous amount of casts. For this Bailey's job, the shape is simple, flat and fluid, and as we're only requiring two of these, we're going for a much more cost-effective waste plaster mould. We add walls so that the mould can be broken down into two sections, and we splash the watery plaster of Paris on first, before backing this up with thicker plaster and a scrim material for strength. With a mould making process such as this, we're always trying to improve the eventual end result every step of the way. We get the clay as smooth as we can with the master pattern, then we clean the interior of the mould a little further once the initial clay pattern has been extracted, and when the casts have been laid up with the gel coat resin and a few layers of glass fibre, these are then cleaned up afterwards to an even better finish. All this cleaning up and sanding on any project takes time, but it's really worth us improving the surface through each stage of the moulding so that we end up with a really high quality result. In order to install the Baileys bottles onto the job, TRO have kindly sent us down a couple of samples for us to uh, <laughs> empty for research purposes. Thank you very much indeed. And these will be fixed permanently onto the sculpture once they're in the correct position. We go over the job multiple times with sandpapers and fillers, buffing them up until they're ready for painting. For this job we're using 2K car body paints for a really solid finish. And even after we've gone on with a white primer first and then the Baileys colour, we still sand it back again if we find any imperfections. We have metal work running through the bottom of this and up into the bottle itself, all the way through. Keeps it nice and steady. And uh, I think we've got the, the Bailey's colour spot on. We, it's, it's very, very nice indeed. And it just lifts up and it gets placed on top of the fridge or, or whatever corner surface they like. And we have the label on this side because it's seen from this side of the fridge. And on the other one, it's on the left hand side because it's seen from the other side of the fridge. It's looking all quite nice. Nice high gloss finish. Should catch the light nicely. Should be nice and strong. We made these little boxes here which you can travel in. Hopefully it does the exhibition proud. Very nice indeed, just in time for Christmas. The bottles were picked up in their boxes and sent out to Norwich, and since then have been moving around numerous shopping centres in places like Cardiff and Birmingham. Standing alongside the Baileys team, they complemented the stalls nicely, featuring on the refrigerators at the back of the shot. Just a nice little addition to the decoration we think, and who knows where these will end up after their tour, whether they'll continue to travel, or whether someone wants them for their own fridge at home. We'd like to thank Lynn Bardsley from TRO for presenting us with the work, and we look forward to many more projects to come. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and follow at Aiden Hines on Twitter, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.